It's my hand motion for run here. Hey everybody, looks into Swirl here, a new day, new cut project. We did this recently. I called this sort of the Easter egg blob <laughs> cup in the end. Made it into an Easter cup because Easter's still coming. And I, I got some interesting suggestions and people wanted to see it on white as well as, you know, how it looked here on black. I don't know that they'll show up as well on white. This is another one of these deals where the, the properties of the mica that make it so amazing uh, tend to show up better on black than on other colors. But somebody said, well, why don't you do a cup that's half and half and then we can see. So here we go. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna use more fluid resin and we're gonna do it on a obviously comparable black and white tumbler. Hit it with a bunch of heat, do some tilting. We'll see if we get something different than this. These mica hulls are mixed from my collection. I think I have everything that Sam sells on Island Micas and More. These are all her vivid hollows. I have all the colors, I believe. We have an onyx, toasted coconut, a silver, periwinkle, teal, rose gold, gold, peridot, forest, steel, and this is jade. So I took all of these and I mixed them with 99% isopropyl alcohol in their own little dropper bottles. And that's what we're going to put on our cup using a runnier epoxy resin. It's my hand motion for runnier. So this is a 20 ounce skinny straight from Makerflow. I will mix up 20 milliliters of the epoxy resin we're gonna use, the tumbler's coating epoxy. I'll put it all on so we'll have lots of resin on here to move around and we'll do the experiment again. We'll see what happens. Do we get something like this or do we get something completely different? What happened? Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. Oh, so much movement. The swirls, the blending. Now we'll look at the top half. 
and I love it so much. And then I look at the bottom half and I love it so much and I can't pick my favorite part. It's like an oil slick almost. A incredibly holographic, sparkly oil slick. Wow, that is just stunning. All right, so you guys tell me down in the comments section, do you want me to do the next one full white cup, full black cup? I could make an argument for either way and I'll probably do both <laughs> at some point. So let's put something around the middle, I think. It took me a lot of thinking to figure out what I want to do around the middle and I'm still not sure I picked the right thing, I'll be honest. I'm supposed to go into all of the sections of the video confidently, like I know what I'm doing, but honestly, I don't always know. So I'll show you what I've chosen for this cup. If you think I should have done something differently, let me know in a nice way. How you would have finished this cup, especially pertaining to the very stark line around the middle. Okay, we're back. I found this graphic online and I think it's gorgeous. It's a watercolor succulent. I think it goes pretty well with all of the different colors that show up in here. I'm gonna make a, a chain of succulents around the middle. That's my plan. that turned out pretty cool. Better than I expected it to, honestly. And the fact that they're individual stickers means, you know, I'm not struggling with a, a printed straight line trying to make it match up perfectly. And I'm, I'm gonna add one more of these to the bottom, just because right there in the middle. Ta-da! Okay, I'm gonna put a very thin layer of UV resin on these all the way around. A little above and a little below. Basically, I'm just going to tack everything down. We do have sun today, so I'll put the cup out in the sun and I'll let everything cure up. And then I'll put a final layer of resin on the whole thing. I will put rainbow sparkle into the final layer because that'll, that'll get the succulent sparkling as well. And I think that would be pretty. So the next time you see it, we should be out in the sun for the final reveal. Here we go. <laughs> 